So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the Freewell filters because they sent me the pack. But guys, you don't have to buy the pack because to me, I think that's rather expensive, but you can buy separate ones. I'll put a little thing here now to let you know what they do at the moment. And I would imagine with Freewell, they're always adding new filters, especially now with the Mini 4 Pro. Anyway, if you watched my previous video on how to choose your filter, um, I was down at the mines and I showed you I had the drone on. I'm not going to do it this time. It's not, it's not advisable to have the drone on while you're doing the filters. It's just, you can put the filters on. So if you watch that video, that will explain to you which filter to use. Now today we're using the Pearlizer filter. Now that's more to do with the reflection of the water and also the colour of the water. And we've got some clouds, so it's going to be a good demo today. I'm going to do one, I'm going to put a 64 on because the sun's out nice and bright. We're in Spain, it is pretty bright here. I think a 64 is enough, but I'll let you decide on that. So what we need to do first, now I've got my little box here. Handy that it bring a cloth with it as well, because that's what you need. Now I've got the drone here. I'm just going to remove the UVA filter that's on there already. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put up a little diagram because it's a simple procedure, it's a twisting on, and I'm going to use a ND64. I'll show you the setup as well with the settings. There it is. I'm just trying to find it then. And making sure that you've got the free well on the top when you put it on. That's a good, good thing. Now I have, I have got a a a CPL which is a circular polarizer I I personally don't like that but what you will find actually on the camera there or on, on the lens I should say you've got horizontal with a little line there and it's vertical because you can obviously do it in vertical or horizontal I always do it horizontal and all you do you just twist that little red mark around and and that's your job done so don't worry about that. I've just got a car turning up now. Some nose bag, no doubt. So that's done. I'll put the cloth back in, in there. So we ain't got to worry about that. Right, so what we need to do now is put the drone on and the controller. I'll go through the settings of that as well. Okay, so what I've done, I've got the drone up in the air. I'm just going to show you the settings first. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it into 4K. So you go down to the bottom right there. Now, I've already done it. So I've got it on 4K, 30 frames. We then go into Auto, change it to Pro. We click it again. Now, the top one, they always say keep it at its lowest. I'm all about the ISO to 100. And then the shutter, 1 over 60. That's what they say. And if you can see already, it's darkened it. Now that's 64, so I've got a 64 ND on now, a polarizer, I should say. Uh, it's, that's made it look a little bit darker, but I think that's fine. So what I've done, I've set up a, a waypoint mission, just a short one to compare, and I'm gonna put them side by side and, see, and make you decide uh, if, it's, if it's for you. So the video's on now. I mean, to me, <laughs> wearing my sunglasses, this is what it's all about, isn't it? Wearing Polaroid sunglasses, and that's why we've got ND filters on. Uh, it's, to, it's to knock out that glare that you get on the water. Now, to me personally, I don't like using filters, but I've, I've got to thank Freewell for sending them to me. And I, for those that want to learn how to use them, this is why I make these videos. Um, now, what they say, it makes the, the sea more real colour. But in auto, they say it makes it more bluer. I don't know how true that is. I mean, this is why I like making these videos. And I'll let, let you guys decide what you think's best. An ND filter. It's possible that this 
64 may be a little bit too dark for it. I couldn't go up to another one. I could drop down to, say, a, um, what we got? We got a 32. Um, but I think, no, that, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I just sent it on a little course just around the harbour here. Now, I did plan to, there's a boat out there. And usually when you get a boat next to the sea and it's white, you get a bit of a glare. But I didn't realise <laughs> that the boat moves, obviously, with the, it's, even though it's chained out there, it's anchored, it moves about a bit. So I was hoping that would capture that. But we're just coming up to that boat now, apparently. Uh, and it'd be interesting. I'm just knocking that glare off. You, you, I can see, I can see, you know, it is pretty... When I got these off, it looks pretty white. When I put these down, it just tones it down a bit. So there, there's the boat, and it's moved. <laughs> it's moved out of shot, which is a shame. But anyway, hopefully you get the gist of that. And if you watch my previous video, I'll show you how to choose the right ND filter for your drone, um, because. Yeah, it's, it's finished now. It's coming back now. Hope you found that useful. As always, if you got, you know, make a comment. If you if you think the ND filter was a big help, please say so. If you didn't, if you thought it being an auto was much better, that's fine. So, catch you on another video. Just enjoy flying your drone. Mm -hmm.